All right, ladies and gentlemen, the Otaku Wolf is back once again, and we, today we have another read-through to do for all of you. This is episode three of Dynasty of the Dragon, and a quick reminder, please click the link in the description below to check out the other stories that my friends and I have been doing, but you can also check out my channel where you can see read-throughs of those stories. And if you can't wait till next week to see the episode four, then by all means check out excuse me, check out the link and you can see the episodes we've got so far. Our postings will continue. Oh, postings will resume um in September and along with debuts of other stories that my friends and I have been, been creating. So last episode, uh, we met Oromaru's son, Grand Monk Chang, and his apprentice Taisho, and they had just, just had, they had just left Rokai Village and are on their way back to the Cloud Palace, but they were being watched. And apparently, Grand Monk Chang feels he knows who was watching them, like he sensed them before. Let us find out what's going to happen in this episode, shall we? If you want to read along with me, just click the link down below, and we can read this episode together. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's begin. Alright, see the forest? The creature that was watching Taisho and, oh, and Grand Monk Chang is just zipping through there or at rapid speed. He's just jumping across the treetops. Up dashing like a blur. Or you can barely even see him. And he comes to a clearing. It seems there's some other figures there. And he goes to who seems to be the leader. Kazuryu, Lord and Master of the Shadow Tribe. Your report? My Lord. The creature reveals himself. Hashith, Rastari Assassin and Master of the Shadow Jump. I bring news that the monk knows nothing of our return. I see. So he has left the village defenseless. My friends, tonight our reign begins. The other are Rastari in the area are overjoyed. It is just as you hoped. Ren Zhao, Shadow Tri a second lieutenant, also goes by the nake name Sickleclaw. This will provide us a night full of death. Shando, known as the Carnage King, whose love of violence knows no bounds. Provided none of you stand in the way. Shezu, the last of the Rothal vampire snakes. You've done well, Hashith. Now go and alert the Zarkal. Yes, my lord. In a flash, Hashith is gone. Kazuryu just ponders how fortunate this day has been. Soon I shall have my revenge, and Grandma Chang shall be no more. What, of all the, of the Rastari there, one just remains silent. Dragonath, first lieutenant of the Shadow Tribe. All he does is just conjure up a clump of flames in his hand and looks at it. It's like he doesn't really he care much for what's going on. Another member of the Shadow Tribe a Gorgamaru, younger of the Shadow Brothers, however, smashes a boulder with his fist to show his excitement. We'll break the monk in half! Santa Santanamaru, the elder of the Shadow Brothers, agrees as he cracks his knuckles. And the village will know just how cruel we can be. Just then, Renzao turns, as as he senses movement. They're back! 
Sure enough, Hashith returns with an army of Zakal at his back. Lord Kazuryu, the Zakal are armed and ready. Excellent. Now go and prepare for the attack. Yes, my lord. Fall out, men! Together, or they head off. And Kazuryu continues to give instructions. Shezu, Dragonath, go and see that the village knows we are here. Shezu doesn't seem too pleased about working alongside Dragonath. Perhaps a little tension there? But he decides not to argue. Hmm. Meanwhile, Dragonath, still not that seeming to care much for what's going on with his expressionless face, stands and as his wings sprout from his back, and he just takes off. Meanwhile, Kazuryu oh, just watches and looks down at his hand as lightning appears around it. You may have won the last time we met, my friend, but this time we will be different. And that's the end of episode three. I hope you guys enjoy this, and I hope you will join me in the future, and that you will continue to spread the word to your friends and your families about this wonderful series. I really hope one day it will go the distance and become an anime. I think it will make a good one. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you've not already subscribed. Leave your comments down below, and I will see you next time. I love you all, and there is nothing you can do about it. Until we meet again, adieu.